Hello. Yesterday I made two different fighting, dancing figures. Um, I made a little red riding hood and a wolf. And then I made two pigeons. Okay. I thought I'd break it down a little bit easier to explain how to do it. So you need two bodies. In this instance, I've made two different cats. One's fluffy, so I've done a sort of serrated edge, and one's not. Their arms are going to join in the middle. So there's a little bit of serration for the fluffy cat, and then smooth for the other one. And they're going to be attached to the bodies about there with split pins. And then each cat's also got two sets of legs, which will be loosely attached to the body so that they move. Extra to that, somewhere, yeah, I've made bits that can be glued on. So I thought it would be fun if they could fight over a fish. So I'm going to stick the fish on at some point. And I'm going to stick the, a tail onto the fluffy cat, a tail onto the smooth cat. Okay, when all that's done, painted, split pinned and everything else, I'll attach it to a stick. So now I'm going to paint the parts and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've painted one as a tabby cat and one as a black and white cat. I've got my fish, which I'm probably going to just glue on behind the hands because I want the paws visible. Um, and now I've got to get a needle to go through the cardboard and some split pens. Right, so first I want to attach the body to the paws. So I'm going to pop it in a bit of room between them about there. I take my needle and I push it through. And because I want these to have a bit of movement, more movement than usual, I'm also going to put a pencil, sharp pencil, through to widen the hole just a little bit. And I need a little bit of the cardboard, just a scrap of it. I'm going to get an orange one to try and match the tabby cat. So I've pushed it through, but between the two bits I'm going to put a bit of cardboard so it keeps it a little bit loose. And then I'm going to open up the two sides like that. So it's got a looseness. They get looser as you play with them, but just to try and get it so you can play with it straight away. So here's the other one. I'm going to pop a needle through. I haven't got any black split pins, so I'm going to paint over that. I've just painted these with acrylic paint this morning. But you could use anything. You could use felt tips, whatever you've got. So again, cardboard in. These are tiny split pins, so they're very fiddly, but I do love them. So it goes in there, and then open up the split pin at the back. There. So that's the first bit done. Now the tails, I'm just going to glue those on because they don't need to move. So I'm just going to stick some glue on there. Stick it at a jaunty angle at the back. And I'll stick some glue on this fluffy one. Stick that there. So they're done. The fish can just be glued on. So stick some glue on. And what I'm peeping out, smiling, though I don't think he would be smiling in this situation. There. I might shift him over just a bit so he doesn't hit the black and white cat's big tummy. Right. Legs. You just want them so that they can move around a bit. So you want to give them a bit of space so that they can kick up and down. I've got another orange split pin. That's a nice one. Right. Orange split pin in there. Pop that bit of card in. At the back, I'm being gentle because I know I've just glued everything on. Right, there. Other leg, about there. Oops. 
So, spec pen. Open it up. So you get that up and down movement and you get the legs moving around as well, the more they loosen up. Okay. And you could do, what could you do? You could do Kung Fu fighters. You could do superheroes fighting it out. You could do whatever you fancy. I mean, it's really good fun making a whole load of different ones. I was trying to work out this morning how I could do a blackbird with a worm, but I decided on two cats in the end. So there we go. Open up the bag. You can see the movement is pretty good already. <laughs> Wiggling around while I'm trying to put them together. Pencil's not absolutely necessary, you probably know to keep forgetting, it just gives it a little bit more space for everything to move around. Oh, this one's fiddly, there we go. And that's them done, yay! So, now they're like that, the only thing left to do is to attach a stick to the back. So I've got my trusty, um, I think that was a place in that here. I'm going to get a stick and I'm just going to sellotape that one at the back. Yeah, flip it over and it can go where the fish is. And just try and score it in with your nails. If this comes off, of course, you can just stick it back on again with another bit of tape, but they do tend to slide down the stick, I've noticed, when you're playing with them. So there we go. Two cats fighting over a fish, and I'm going to go and play with that. I hope that's made it clearer for everybody. Thank you.